guys, PJ here, back at it with another technical video for you PC users. Uh, this particular one being Project Cars 2, fresh off, fresh off the press as it were, and released yesterday. Now on this video I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible. We're going to run through all the options and settings that the game has to offer. A uh, quick look at the graphics options, the artifacts, VRAM, etc. I've done some preliminary play with this game and it does seem to play very well. In fact, I would say it's less taxing than the original Project Cars. I found that one very, very taxing on even high-end hardware. So let's uh, start off at the top here. Okay, we've got gameplay. And I'm just going to scroll through all these so you can see what they all are. Yeah, um, yes, no, they're simple enough. Off, authentic, full. Anti-lock break-ins, high and low. Oh, no, medium, just off, low and high. Okay, it's fine. Stability control, on and off. Traction control, off, low, high. Okay. Uh, damage type, off, visual only, or performance impacting, or full damage. Turn that one off. I'll write the car off in the first race. Um, mechanical failure, no or yes. Just to note, you know, on the damage type, on a nighttime race on Project Cars 1, if you smash the headlights, you've had it. <laughs> I remember doing that straight away. Uh, tire wear, off, authentic, accelerated. Fuel usage, real, slow, and of course, off. Auto start engine, yes, no. Rules and penalties, off or on. Manual pit stop, no or yes. Pit stop cinematic cameras, off and on, basically. Manual cooldown lap, off and on. And manual rolling start, yes or no. So on screen guides and displays, we have hood level, full, light, telemetry or off. We'll go with full. Driving line on or off. I've got a bit of a niggle there. I'll say I've played it a bit and I wanted braking only. Didn't seem to work. And the driving line, I don't know if it's a bug or a glitch, but normally obviously red means brake when you're coming up to a corner. Well, a lot of the U-turn corners were blue, not red. So you're sort of hammering away and then, oh yeah, I've got a brake. Yes, you should read the road, but for novices, you know, braking guidelines are very helpful. So I'm not sure that one works perfectly. Play it, see what you think. Uh, turn indicator, on and off. Track map, on and off. Uh, show lap input info, default or on or off. Or edited. Okay, so it's edited then. Edited. This will automatically be selected when you make alterations to the hood in the hood editor and will be displayed in the hood mode. On You enable it in all game modes oh, come here, and session types, excluding telemetry mode quite in depth that one then isn't it starting grid lights uh, on and off cockpit wheel driver on and off opponent names multiplayer only single player only or on okay um, we'll have that on multiplayer only race engineer authentic always or off spotter authentic always or off Proximity indicators, off or on. Pit stop visual clue, on and off. Display units, imperial or metric. Tutorials, on and off. Chat box, on and off. And chat profanity filter, on and off. Okay, so if we go back. By the way, controller support is native. So there's no problem there. Xbox One controller, perfect. It's controls. Uh, there's been a lot of complaints I was looking at on Steam for the FFD on this. Um, I don't know, I'm not finding it a problem to be honest with you, but there we go. I tell you, I did find a problem. My Project Cars 1 controller took a lot of setting up to get anywhere near. I'm not talking about steering wheels, I'm talking about normal controllers. Uh, controller on this seems a lot better, a lot easier to use. I would say this game is more tailored towards the console gaming side. The original one being very PC centric and you could tell the UI was a disaster, um, especially for console players. This one seems more, yes, consoles are included, so bear that in mind. So controller type, we've got gamepad, wheel, keyboard, mouse keyboard, and controller, obviously, Microsoft, custom, or Microsoft. So, no DS4 that I can see. I did plug my DS4 in and it didn't work with it. Now, that could be system orientated for just me. I don't know. I've just 
recently yesterday installed the creators update on windows and it's caused quite a few hiccups shall we say i don't know whether that's related so if you guys plug a ds4 in and it works please drop me a comment below letting me know that it works and that i've got a minor problem to sort out much appreciated uh, right calibrate pedals what else have we got gearing automatic or manual you've got your clutch there on and off uh, inverted gearing yes no and inverted camera y access yes no okay configuration loads to configure I won't read them all out you can just uh, quickly pause the video and have a look at them all mouse feel there going a bit whappy there we go that's all your options quite a lot okay edit assignment there we go just configure everything basically you gotta be careful with the mouse wheel there i was scrolling down and it flicked up a bit weird okay i have no doubt uh being a project cars game that this will get numerous patches uh, and end up being very very good i put a lot of hours into project cars one uh, on pc and i found it great uh, a couple of mates of mine have complained that oh there's no in-game music like forza and stuff just run spotify in the background you can either do it on pc you can do it on playstation you can even do it on xbox one now so just play your own stuff and use your phone as a remote control for the music simple uh right moving back digressing there easily done camera I will just mention on camera guys there's a, a proper photo mode this time you can get rid of rid of everything on the old project cars it left that a horrible mess at the side if you just wanted to take a screenshot um well the horrible mess being there you are for the camera but hey uh, you've got a drone cam as well as a track cam and a cockpit cam the drone cam is excellent you can turn everything off and just take a normal screenshot however you want brilliant love it uh, very nice pictures okay so bumper camera there bonnet camera i think they got to 100 no they don't it's online 133 okay do they all do that and down to 46 there you go let's go back to 86 the default as it were that's all your options there what we got blocked off here minimum speed yeah yeah, yeah. maximum speed sensitivity movement High speed shake, oh, there's all sorts, look. Loads of stuff. Have a faff with it. Let's go back. Uh, what are we on now? Uh, we've done gameplay, we've done controls, we've done camera. Audio. I do graphics less because obviously, last because it's, it's the biggie, isn't it? So, uh, master volume there, menu volume, um, all sorts. All the volumes, look. And you've also got audio device. Now, I've got it running 2.1 at the moment, okay, and it looks like it could support 5.1 because I quickly did um, optical out and it seemed to support it. I didn't get a chance to test it, unfortunately. Uh, we're in the middle of decorating and boring stuff. It keeps pulling me away from doing things. <laughs> so, uh, but it, yeah, it might support it. So, um, I bought the amp up. There's an amp, you can't see it here, but there's a... A receiver over there for optical i'm going to give that a whirl and try it but looks like it could and um, you can easily switch between all your audio devices so there you go look i can switch between everything yeah now that's good because i don't know about you guys but i sometimes get a lot of trouble switching between devices while in game for audio might just be me i don't know right Okay, let's go back. Let's do the biggie. Um, visual effects and performance are split, which is quite interesting actually, because you would have thought these would be more merged, but oh well. Um, post processing filters on and off. Exterior sun flare, full, subtle, minimal, or chroma, or none. Interior sun flare. Again, subtle, minimal, chroma, non, or full. Uh, bloom, on and off. Heat haze, on and off. Exposure compensation, which is fully adjustable. You want to tweak that, you know, as you wish, sort of thing. Uh, raindrops, yes, no. Uh, raindrops look great. The weather looks great. But I'll tell you what, I'm not a fan of the snow. If you take a photograph of your car with snow on it, there. Nah, it, it looks like it's... Um, grey 
yeah, with flakes on it. It doesn't, I'm not impressed. The rain, brilliant. Storms, brilliant, just like Project Cars 1, but snow, no. Uh, Vignet, yes, no. Well, I can never pronounce this. I won't even try. Raise, yes, no. And screen dirt, yes, no. Cockpit mirrors, yes, no. Okay, video calibration brings up uh, the old test picture, like so. And we've got... There we go. Oh, by the way, this game uh, supports HDR on both consoles. I assumed it supported HDR on PC, but I've not been able to get it to work yet. Again, I'll just remind you, creators update, I did it yesterday. It seems to have messed everything up. If you've got HDR to work in this game, drop me a comment below so that I know. Much appreciated. You'll be helping out the rest of the community as well. Bear that in mind. Thank you. Uh, performance. Here we go. Now, it is truly my belief that this has been slightly downgraded for the for the console experience um, sometimes this does not look as nice as project cars one to me certainly seems easier to run as well anyway resolutions uh, obviously you can tweak to your heart's content as it were there we go all your common ones not we'll go all the way down to 640 before 80 nasty now, plugging it into a 4K TV, uh, which I've already done, yes, goes all the way up to 4K, no problem. Uh, I personally prefer playing in ultra-wide, don't really use the TV for PC gaming, to be honest with you, so I'll stick with that. Um, windowed, yes, no. Texture resolution, high, well, here we go, high is the max look. I expected an ultra, there isn't. So medium, low, that's it, okay. And texture filtering, we've got 16, 8, 4, 2, trilinear, that's all of them. V-Sync, yes, no. No, because I'm running a free sync monitor, not needed. Okay, you guys, if, you, if you're not, please put that on, otherwise you get horrible screen tearing. MSAA, we're on medium, there's high and low and off. Now, interestingly, look, post AA there is off, so if you turn this off, we can go through those. There we go. FX AA low, medium high, SMAA low. So if you're struggling a bit with your uh, FPS, you could probably try messing with those a bit and see if it helps you out. Super sampling, I'll oh, just go through that. There you go, there's your super sampling. Now this is intensive. This will take a heavy impact on your GPU, so bear that one in mind. Uh, let me go back to my SMAA, there we go. Reflections, medium high ultra ultra has a pretty big impact on your gpu uh, i'm still running an archaic r9 290x which uh, some of the more clued up ones of you will know is pretty much the same thing as an rx 480 rx 580 it's just they overclocked a bit better and you know they've got a higher clock rate and of course use a lot less power i am building a new system i'll get there eventually anyway so reflections medium there, as you can see. Environment map, we have ultra. And all the way down to low. Now I set this up last night for my gameplay to stick around 60 frames per second and it was going to sort of go 65 to 80. It was in that region, yeah. Uh, obviously if you're in an ultra ride, you're running more pixels than a normal 1080p monitor. So again, bear that one in mind. If your buddy's got a 1080p monitor and he's getting a higher frame rate, that's why. Um, Track detail, ultra, high, medium, low. Pit crew detail, all the player only or none. Shadow detail, high, medium, low. But there is also an ultra. I knock that down a peg just to keep the FPS nicely up. Enhanced mirror, doesn't really bother me to be honest with you. Yes, no, it's nice to have. If you've got your GTX 1070s, 1080s or whatever, fine, go for it. Don't blame you. Motion blur, uh, high, medium, low. I think there's an off. Will it go to off? Yeah, there we go. There's an off. Uh, render frames in advance. Um, again, seems to be quite taxing in this particular game. So I've only got it set to one. You can go all the way up to four, look. But try that one for yourself. That's going to depend on your system a bit. 
I did notice CPU usage on this game is through the roof. I was sort of hitting 80, 90, 95% on each core. This is an eight core CPU, which was a bit puzzling because obviously this game is intended for the consoles and they have very, very weak CPUs. However, there we go. My GPU was running 80 to 95%. So it wasn't bottlenecking anywhere. It was just sort of topping out what I've got, which is to be expected. Like I say, it's a bit dated now. Um, detailed grass, okay, we have off, looks horrible off, didn't like it. Low, medium, oops, daisy, there we go, high, no ultra, no, okay. Particle effects, or particle levels, sorry, again, we have off, low, medium, high, medium there. Particle density, ultra, high, medium, low, that's it. One more at the bottom, it wasn't scrolling, duh down no you don't know if you can notice there's a bit of scroller left at the bottom here and mouse down it just won't go see what i mean no, it's like not not going little bit buggy anyway back uh so that's all of those done as you can see it supports triple screen monitors so if you've got a really powerful system running triple screens that's going to look the biz um vr yes no problem there doesn't support PSVR before you ask the game's far too you know too too advanced to to even take that into account you're gonna need a Vive or something for, for this to run um, ooh, what else have we got guys that's everything isn't it really I will go into game and show you some you know FPS's and stuff see how it runs Quick play yeah um, I will be doing a separate full review of this game uh, that takes the consoles into consideration. This is literally just for you PC guys, a bit of a technical view, give you an idea how it will run on an AMD system. It's not a review at all what I think of the game. So you pick your car, uh, let's go for something like that. I was playing the other one last night, the red one there. Uh, there's not much in it is there really. We'll go with that. There's an awful lot to do with photos and showrooms and stuff. Really nice. Okay, select track. Oh, I don't know. What's what's nice? What looks good? Haven't done that one. Should we do that one? Did quite a few last night, actually. There's loads there. Like I say, for, for more of a slow look at the track list, see my other video that I'll link to for the review. Okay. Let's go. Um, we got weather rolling on. Or da, 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 let's have a look. There's a lot of options here for your race settings. Look, um, if we start at three o'clock in the afternoon, speed at sixty, so it whizzes through tonight. Weather slots four. There you go. We've got clear thunderstorm, blizzard, and heavy fog. Great for a supercar. Bound to fall off the track all the time. Save. Okay, so. Let's stick my non-working, great, loving this creator's update. I'm trying to put my overlay on, guys. It doesn't work. Oh, my God. Okay, fix that. And back in a flash. Go a bit of faffing later and we got it all working. Okay, so let's load into game. It's, uh, it's running on a 7200 speed, normal hard drive. Operating system's on an Intel SSD. D and I'm recording using AMD Relive onto a Samsung SSD. So the impacts normally on this game it seems to be about 4 FPS at worst. So if we turn recording off, we sort of gain 4 FPS. Um, yeah. And the creator update I have turned performance mode off and set everything manually because I think it's completely balked. I don't know what they've done with it, but it doesn't look right to me. Uh, use the controller here. Start. And there we go. Now, uh, FPS 79, 78, and memory 10.5 gigabytes being used. Looks nice enough. Car interiors, pretty good. Like I say, it sort of holds... I tried to keep it above 60 and it seems to do that even with the full grid. Hard keeping your eye on the FPS counter while driving of course. In fact I did actually flip the car onto its roof while doing that. Not a good thing to do is it while you're trying to win a race. But 
yes, runs nice, no problem. Looks nice and ultra wide as well. It's a nice upgrade. In fact, I'd probably say that's the best upgrade I've done recently with PC. You don't realise until you've got one how nice they are. I think my next ultra wide will be um, one with a higher resolution. And with that comes a massive cost, let's face it. So, if we now switch, that's helmet cam. Uh, roof cam. Keep an eye on the braking area there. Exterior car cam. And we'll flip. It's starting to rain now, look. Ooh, no. Fall off the track time. Track cam. Bonnet cam. Not much of a bonnet on this to see, is there? And back in the car. Now, what I was saying to you about... There we go photo mode i've got to show this off i absolutely love it now my picture <laughs> my stream pic there is actually obscuring this but if we go um, track cam yeah drone cam this is the one that i think is really nice so you can use your controller and as you can see it is really easy to control You've got ceilings and limits, but the, the, the scope of it is sort of fantastic. If we go down to the car, you can alter your focus and everything as well. Um, so if we go for focus distance here, look, there you go. There we go. Just get it just right. Nice option there built in. Love it. Not sure how that will work on the consoles. Uh, probably similar. It's just obviously whether the consoles stack up as nicely. I have no doubt the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One X, when it finally gets released, will be of a decent standard. I'm not too sure about the normal consoles, though. So anyway, rain, as you can see. We're on 70 FPS at the moment, I think that was. Not taxing. I really did struggle with the first one a lot, keeping it running smoothly. thunderstorm there very nice it's certainly running better than the new Forza 7 demo for some people um, Forza 7 demo for a lot of people is clogging up uh, core 1 of your CPU and apparently it's meant to run that way very good for a multi-core application <laughs> don't know why they've done that Okay, so I would say with that, we're at the end of this video. Like I say, I only set out to show you the settings and options and roughly how it plays. This, like I say, is a mixture of settings. Looks nice enough. If this video was any help at all and you can give me any input on the couple of bits that I asked about, please drop them in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching and bye for now.